A grieving mother who wants justice for her son is speaking out tonight. Jermaine Fairley was shot to death last weekend before his body turned up in a sewer several days later. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Ruta Alsonida tells us his heartbroken mom wants answers. This right here is where Jermaine Fairley's body was found last Friday on Tyler and Sussex on Detroit's west side. Now the family is left wondering how someone could do something so cruel to the father of five. You took a family man that had five kids, not, and they're not grown, they're babies. Five babies that's going to grow up in this world does not going to know their fathers. As Tamika Fairley stands with three of her son Jermaine Fairley's young children and his brother Jermaine, she's left wondering how this family will move forward without her beloved son. So we had 28 years, good years with him. His kids didn't even have that. This bizarre case goes back to January 27th when Jermaine was attending a funeral and repassed for a family friend. Tamika wasn't there but heard that some sort of fight broke out and Jermaine ended up being shot in the back of the head. But no one would say who did it. And nobody want to say anything. It's all, I guess, a street code. I'm going to keep my mouth closed. I'm a rat or whatever. No one ended up calling 911. Instead, someone put his body in his vehicle and drove off. His car was later recovered that day engulfed in flames. His body was not in the car and had been missing since then. That was until last Friday when police were called out to the area of Tyler Avenue and Sussex Street. We received a, uh, an anonymous tip that he could possibly be in a sewer in that area, which that's what led us, uh, our detectives uh, and our canine, uh, searching. Detroit police confirm that Jermaine was found in that sewer, along with a weapon underneath him. That weapon is now being processed by Michigan State Police. And DPD is looking for two persons of interest in the case and hope they come forward soon to put an end to this family's heartbreak. It's a lot right now going on for the family. It's like you could, it's never, a, it has not been a quiet moment since we discovered it was him. His five children left without a father. Tamika left without one of her sons just days before the 28 year old's birthday. I hope justice is served. I hope they, they get caught and I hope they, you know, they get put away. As the family prepares to lay Jermaine to rest, they have set up a fundraiser to help the family with those costs. That's up on our website, WXYZ.com. In Detroit, I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 Action News.